We have the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center on the area of cloudiness in the Caribbean that we're watching. But before we get to that, let's show you a few showers right now in WDSU. First warning radar, very, very small showers. Wonder if maybe these were triggered by a bit of a lake breeze, but you can see that they're just kind of raining themselves out. Letcher, Norco, Laplace, a couple of raindrops. I don't think these showers are going to last much longer. And any rain this evening after about 6.30, 7 o'clock, I think we're done. I said we were warm earlier, and then I corrected myself, and I said we're hot because we're at 94 in Baton Rouge and 92 in Bogalusa. 91, our current temperature in slide out. A little bit cooler if you're closer to the water. 87 on beautiful Grand Isle. Now, the heat index, okay, it's up there. It's in the upper 90s, but it's not oppressive. It's not three digits. 96 is what it feels like right now in Bogalusa. 91, the heat index at Galliano. Here are your current conditions and a live look at the Crescent City Connection. Louis Armstrong International Airport checking in with 89 degrees and a dew point of 74. That dew point should be going down by the end of the week and it should start to feel a little more comfortable. East to southeasterly winds right now at about 7 miles per hour. Let's go to the tropics because this area of cloudiness obviously catches your eye. And I want to point out something else. There's actually a Pacific hurricane here. And I didn't even notice that throughout the day today because I was paying so much attention to what's going on here in the Caribbean. Not that that system has anything to do with us. Here's the area of cloudiness that likely is going to become Tropical Storm Helene either late tonight or sometime early tomorrow. 957 miles away from our studios right here at WDSU. And the center of it is probably right about here. Most of the thunderstorm activity, most of the rain on the eastern side of this storm. Still strong upper level winds in place, but the Hurricane Center believes as it makes its way into the Gulf, the upper level winds are going to be lighter. And obviously out here in the Gulf of Mexico, there is plenty of warm water that this system is going to use as fuel. And this is new information that we got in the four o'clock advisory. Look at how quickly this intensifies. Wednesday, two in the afternoon, category one hurricane approaching Florida. Thursday, 2 a.m. Now it's a category two storm. Thursday, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, Category 3 hurricane coming ashore somewhere in Florida. That's the forecast track right now. The spaghetti plots, if you will, the different computer models, none of them taking it toward the state of Louisiana. We're still going to watch this one extremely closely over the next couple of days. Anytime you get a system out here in the Gulf, even if all the spaghetti plots are taking it away from you, you still watch it extra closely just to make sure it does what it's supposed to. One of the things that may steer this storm, there's actually an upper level low to the north and to the west, but there's also going to be a cold front coming through, helping to keep that system away from the state of Louisiana. And actually, we're probably going to get some drier air moving in on the back side. Let me show you the dew point forecast going from Wednesday into Thursday. Right now, our dew point's in the low 70s. But by about noontime on Thursday, you can see some of that drier air coming in. Dew points in the low 60s, Hammond, Baton Rouge. That's going to be some drier air that'll be here late Thursday and Friday. So your forecast for tonight, any isolated showers should be ending by about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Going to be a little bit muggy, as it quite often is this time of year. Tomorrow we'll put the chance for rain at about 10%, mostly sunny, just an isolated shower. So our weather's changed very little over the last few days. That continues through tomorrow. We'll call it somewhat breezy Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. And it does get just a little bit cooler, especially in the mornings by Friday. That's your WDSU. First 24 cap.